What's up everybody out there in YouTube land, Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com back with a quick short video. In today's video we're going to cover the latest rumors courtesy of FujiRumors.com about the upcoming Fujifilm release, the Fujifilm X-H2. We got some good information about what we thought was going to be a potential cooling system, but now we're hearing something completely different. Let's run it down. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we do gear reviews, tech reviews, gear unboxings, video games, cinematography, geeking out, teching out, just an overall great place to be. If that sounds like something you are interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, punch that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time we post content to the channel or for the occasional live video we do. So if you're a follower of this channel or are new, again, welcome. Previous videos, we have been talking about the X-H2 and its upcoming release. We also talked about a potential naming of one of the upcoming releases of the X-H2. And I'll leave that video up in the left-hand side right here. So a few days ago, April the 7th or 8th, Fuji Rumors released a patent from Fujifilm about an active sensor cooling system for cameras. And of course, the rumors started becoming rampant about how that was going to be now a part of the new upcoming X-H2 Fujifilm camera, which is slated to be... Uh, either video centric or photography centric. They're going to have two different models. And this, of course, obviously made the rumors run rampant because one of the big things that we are anticipating that this camera having is obviously more than 4K video recording. So we're looking at probably 8K. Obviously, we know from previous predecessor cameras from other manufacturers, we do know that cameras are notoriously known for overheating because they take a larger sensor sampling and downgrade it um, or downsample it. I'm sorry to like a 4K signal. So a lot of times, you know, cameras will have typically an 8K or a 6K sensor, but they're downsampling it to 4K, which can cause some overheating issues. There's been cameras re-released, um, looking at you, Canon, where, you know, you have some active cooling built into the camera, made a little bit thicker, a little bit chunkier, but it's in the system now um, when you do purchase the newer upgraded camera. So Fuji being Fuji, you know, they are going to try to get ahead of that and have their camera be as polished as possible hardware wise. So of course the rumors started running rampant about, you know, when they released this uh, patent. However, Fuji rumors has also now come out um, literally probably the same day saying that unfortunately the Fujifilm X-H2 uh, potential release will not have active sensor cooling system built into the camera. So take that with a grain of salt, take it how you will. Does that mean that we're not going to be getting AK in these cameras? That doesn't necessarily mean that maybe there is another type of cooling that's going to be into the camera. We don't know yet. Fuji Rumors was the first one to, in my, you know, in my research, drop the patent for this, um, this cooling system, but was also one to quickly say, hey, this isn't going to be a part of the new X-H2 lineup releases, which again, watch the videos uh, that we've posted to the channel so that way you can be caught up on the latest news and rumors on the upcoming, which I'm going to say is probably one of the largest upcoming releases from Fujifilm. We do know that the upcoming X-H2 releases will have different sensor options. We do know that it is anticipated to shoot 8K, and we do know courtesy of the rumors that it should be released in 2022. Now, of course, these are all as of today, April the 10th, the day of this recording. Things can obviously change depending on, you know, um, pandemic, you know, still reeling from the pandemic, um, supplier, things like that, issues, shipping problems, things like that. So again, we're hoping to have it out in 2022. Maybe they'll pull an Apple and release it like December 31st, right? Still technically 2022. But again, keep it locked and loaded to this channel. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. It's 100% totally free. And in this world, there's not a lot of things that are free. Hitting that subscribe button is definitely free. I thank all of you for the support. I cannot wait to continue to grow this channel. 3,000 subscribers are coming, and I cannot wait to hit that 5,000 subscriber milestone goal where we will have a huge mega giveaway. Still thinking about what that could be, but it's going to be big. I love you all. Make 2022 the best year possible. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.